Okay, everyone. So now we are going to make a Windows application where we will make a program to show the text of a button in the text box. That means whatever the written into the text box, we want to change it to the button, and the button text will be going back to the text box. So that is what we want to perform. So here we have started with the project, and the name of project we have given is the text changer. So let's say we are having the form here. So first of all, we need some text box. So we are going to take it. So here we can see that this is the text box. So we have taken it. Now we need one more button. So there I am taking one button. So one text box and one button we are taking. Now what is going to happen? First of all, I am going to change the name of this button. let's say i am giving the name that is the click so this is the name of button i am going to give the name of the form as well so i am going to the properties and here i am giving certain name to the form as well now if i run this project then a form will be displayed to us i want that let's say if i write some name i want that if i click this name should be coming here on the button and the button name should be going back to this particular text box so that means all the operation we want to perform on the click of button so we want to do the coding on the button so double click on the button here here we are going to write the code basically what we are doing we are swapping the text between the text box and the button so first of all we are going to take a variable here and we are dealing with the text that's why we will take the string type variable so we are taking dim a as string so one string type variable we have taken now afterward we are going to take whatever the text written inside this box into the variable so it is the name text box 1 so what we are doing we are taking a is equal to text box 1 dot text so here whatever the text written inside the text box 1 that we are going to take into the a here we are not applying the val function because we are dealing with the text when we are dealing with the numbers then we convert this text to the val means value otherwise the val function is not required so directly the text whatever it is there we are putting into the a variable now what we are doing first of all the text of the text box we are storing into the variable now the text of button we are going to store into the text box so what we are doing here so in the text box 1 we are going to put the text and that is equal to from where from the button and we know that the button 1 dot text we are going to take it now we can go to the button and we can see that button 1 so yes so button 1 text means click we are going to store into the text box one here now again what we are doing the variable text which we have taken we are going to put back to the button so button 1 dot text is equal to a so whatever is in the a we are going to put it back now to understand this first of all we are going to run the program so we are start debugging the program so here we are having the window now let's say in this window we are writing some of the text let's say av i am writing i am clicking over there you can see that that click button is going here and av whatever i have written is coming here so how it is going to perform when i click on the button this coding run a variable a is declared of string type now this a will be having the text box 1 dot text let's see if i again click it will convert it back so a is having text box 1 you see in the text box i am having av so av is going into variable a afterward in text box 1 so here in the text box i am displaying button 1 dot text means in the text box i am displaying the click 
and that av was stored into variable a and button one dot text is having a so av was stored into variable a is now shown to the button so this is the text changer button whatever you are writing that is going to again change even if you are going to change it let's say you are writing hello here now that can be even changed so this way this button work so this is how we can change the text between the text box and the button